importing assets in order to make objects in DMHub is a very straightforward process. First, we go to the Object tab, then click on that little plus button beneath the search bar to import a new object from an image. From here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Drag and drop an image or video onto the window, or click Choose Files to browse for them manually. But what if you wanted to import a lot of objects at once, like from a sheet? Easily done. We're going to use the exact same process to import an individual object from an image, but with one very important caveat. At the bottom of this import dialog, you'll want to ensure Breakup Sheets Containing Multiple Objects is enabled. This allows DMHub to search for and slice up object sheets for you. But how about we try it for ourselves? Let's upload that sample object sheet from Tom Cartos now. As you can see, DMHub has done the work of detecting and cutting up this object sheet for us, and we now have a sizable collection of objects ready to import. You can choose where you want these objects to go by selecting a folder on the right. Otherwise, they will import to the top level of your directory. Once you're ready, click Import Objects. Depending on how large your sheet is, this could take a minute or two. Okay, here we are now with all of the individual images from that sheet primed and ready to go as default objects for you to place. To make using these new objects more convenient in the future, let's define some basic properties. From the Object panel, select the items you want either by using Control click or Shift clicking to select multiple in a row. Then, right click on any of those selected objects and click Edit Object. This brings up the Object Property window where we can apply settings to all of our selected objects at once. In this case, I picked a bunch of rocks. If nothing else, it's important to type in a few keywords at the top of the window so we can easily search for our object later. Finally, let's apply the solid property to our rocks, allowing us to define how this object interacts with unit vision, blocking movement, cover, and lighting. Once you're satisfied, select Confirm to save your changes. And voila! In just a few clicks, we have a suite of functional rocks to jazz up your scene. You could continue like this for the asset pack, selecting each of the crates and barrels to not only give them similar solid properties, but also maybe loot properties, or grabbing all of the lanterns and candles and sconces, and then applying some basic light properties all at once, so you can start using these right away. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and enable notifications if you're interested in seeing more videos as they become available. We'd also love to have you over in our Discord, the link for which is down in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.